like to talk a little bit about uh, what type of water you should use. We highly recommend that you use distilled water. Uh, we do sell distillers, but you don't need to buy a distiller. If you're just making colloidal silver, you can go to the store and buy a gallon of distilled water. It needs to be distilled uh, because distilled means that it will have no minerals, no, nothing in it but water. And again, by using the meter that we include with the device, you can actually check that distilled water and make sure that it's really pure. Uh, you can use reverse osmosis or deionized water, but very often uh, they will have particles in them which may not be conductive and won't register on the meter, but they will uh, combine with the silver and you'll get uh, larger particles and unwanted compounds. So uh, it is really best to use distilled water. Another question that people have is whether or not to use salt. And you should absolutely not use salt when you make colloidal silver. You shouldn't add anything to the water. You want pure distilled water and pure silver. And our silver is 99.99% pure. It's 12 gauge silver. Another issue that comes up is whether or not you need to stir the water while you're making colloidal silver. With the sylvonic, uh, the the uh, polarity of the electricity at the rods changes every five minutes and this reversal of polarity actually stirs the water and this works up to about a quart size. We really recommend making a pint at a time but uh, you can make more. If you make a, a quart or more though you do need to to stir the, the water uh, so we recommend uh, making it uh, a pint at a time. Uh, the other question is the temperature of the water. Uh, we recommend that you make it at room temperature, but you can heat the water up. It will make it go faster. Uh, we recommend that you keep the uh, temperature uh, at under 100 degrees. And you can do this in several ways. You could actually put it on some sort of a heater, you could put a, a light near it that will warm it. You could put uh, some black tape on the side of the container and put it in the sun and let it heat that way. But again, unless you're really in a hurry, we recommend just uh, doing it at room temperature and letting it work. Once you set it up, you don't have to check it or anything. It will shut itself off when it's done. You'll have perfect colloidal silver every time. In terms of strength, we do recommend 10 part per million colloidal silver for internal use. Uh, we recommend 10 part per million because at that strength, again, you have the smallest possible particle size. When you try to make it stronger, you'll have larger particles and it won't work as well. So instead of trying to make it stronger, just take more. Uh, if you, instead of trying to make 20 or 30 part per million colloidal silver, just take two or three times as much of 10 part colloidal silver. You'll get as much silver, but it will be better quality because it'll have the small nano sized particles. For external use, you can make it stronger. You can make it two, three times as strong. And our device allows you to make it stronger. You can override the automatic shutoff and let it keep going until it gets stronger. It will shut off at a higher uh, strength. The colloidal silver that you make with the Sylvonic system will have an excellent shelf life. Uh, we actually don't know how long it will last because we've never seen it actually degrade. So it lasts months if not years. Uh, one of the advantages of having a meter to test the colloidal silver is if you have stored it um, at any time you want to take it out you can always check it and see if it's still strong enough. Uh, without a meter it's very difficult to know whether the colloidal silver is still uh, active. In terms of storing it you need to uh, store it uh, at room temperature. You don't want to let it get too hot and you don't want to refrigerate it let it get too cold. It's best to keep it in glass, 
but you can use certain types of high quality plastic. Um, while really good colloidal silver uh, won't degrade in light, it's a good idea to keep it away from light, either using gla uh, brown glass bottles or clear glass but in a cupboard somewhere away from the light. Uh, in terms of cleaning the electrodes, uh, it's it's not necessary to use any sort of an abrasive or you don't have to scrub them, just wiping them with a cloth is sufficient. And if you're using good distilled water, you'll get very little buildup. One of the advantages of the Sylvonic is that because it alternates the polarity of the electricity of the rods, you don't get the buildup that you get with a lot of the other generators. You won't have that those black uh, uh, strands developing on the rods. Uh, the other advantage of the swap method, this switching of polarity that we use, is that the rods will wear evenly. With other devices where you only have current flow in one direction, one rod will wear and the other one won't. So you'll have to rotate them or do something like that. With the Sylvonic, you don't have to do that.